my first mine shaft, which is completely lava lit. I've seen a few where they've been sort of go up to the surface and there's light, but it's not really any good because at night time it means that it's not really safe to go down. Whereas with this one, it's all lava, no torches. Let's see if I just start killing myself a bit faster. It's close. Quite often see slimes down here as well. Seen lots of slimes down here. Big open area I've mined out. It was just for sort of mining out diamond and coal and stuff. And I've been experimenting with redstone down here with flashing torches for making the flickering lights that we've seen in, in the Minecraft roller coaster and in the Christmas tree as well. And the tunnels that go off all over the place down here with sort of lava and traps for in, in some of the um with where some of the mob spawners I found in some of the dungeons um when I, I didn't want to move them because you only get pigs when you move them so left them be right so we're back at the top of the um the mine shaft see if you come out here I mentioned before down there there's the redstone torch that comes on when things when mobs fall into my trap that I've got outside and put a mine cart here and if we jump in the mine cart it goes right the way down to where the items are washed up on the pressure plate just here. And as you go past, you pick up the the items and then get all the way back up to the top really quickly. Save me having a trek all the way down, which isn't any fun at all. Off that goes back down there. Right, as you can see, we're back in the, the area that I said was originally my kitchen, which doesn't really get used for much now, except it takes me off to sort of my minecart hub where I can get to different parts of my level, so different parts of my world. I jump in this minecart. I use minecart boosters, you've seen them on the Minecraft roller coaster. Um sort of to get me to go further that a little bit faster. And again we're all lava lightning down here as well to avoid having to use torches and things. So that takes me up into this area here. Minecart wandering off. This is another area. I've got a really big dome. Again, I've got all use all lava lighting. It took me forever to get this right. It was a real pain. Um but a big glass dome, all lava lit and lit with sort of fires and things, which is quite cool. Um that leads to the tunnel where the minecart came through, because you can walk that way as well to get here. Um there's nothing down there, it's the way outside, and that takes me down to my spawn point. There's nothing exciting down there, so we don't need to see my spawn point. It's the third time I've tried to record this without an animal getting in the way on the track, so even though you only see this attempt, I'll hopefully get there this time. Third time lucky. Need to put a fence up really to stop the animals getting in the way. It's too far to walk, we'll be on forever. Chicken, he's got in the way. I don't believe this. I'm not going back again. Not this time. You will just have to take my word for it that it works without animals getting in the way. see over there I've got a, a lighthouse and I've got some other parts that I'll have to show you over here so you should see the lighthouse at night time hopefully soon as well. As you can see it's a little tiny base area again with another mob trap same as the ones I showed you on the other part on the other side of the map away from the coast and a little redstone light that comes on Little redstone torch that comes on when the goodies fall down onto that little plate there. Um, let's see, I've got my lighthouse. Oh, 
can just see the redstone flashing on the top of it there. Um, you can see it better at night, so hopefully after I've showed you the... Oh dear. I'm to die. Um, after I've showed you the other part of my map, which will be a quick one and back. Um, so there's not much over there. The tunnel there is quite cool. This tunnel goes completely underwater. I've caught another minecart here that I didn't know was there, but never mind. The tunnel goes completely under the water, right under the ocean. These horrible soiled blocks because the torches won't stick to the glass, which is irritating. You see, we go quite away under the ocean. The minecart chucked us back, but that's fine, we'll walk the rest of the way. Minecart boots us again to get me from one side to the other. And there's just another mine shaft up there, which is nothing different to the mine shaft that I showed you before. Nothing special down there, it's literally just tunnel. It's just starting to get dark, I'm not going to hang around here for, for too long. Um, there's the, um, the lighthouse, there's nothing really special. You can see my tunnel there as well, there's nothing really special inside the lighthouse, it's just all of them. Sort of the soil blocks and things that take the redstone. There's actually some hellstone in there as well that take the, all the redstone up to the top because all the workings are in a little box. It's a little, quite a big box out there. They're underneath all of this to allow the, the flashing on the top of the lighthouse to work. And there's a little tunnel that shoots off. It's a bit of a messy tunnel. It's not something I've played with too much but it takes me to my portal that takes me into the, into the nether or the Hell dimension or whatever you, whatever you call. We'll go through there. You can see we're in the, in the nether of the hell dimension. We've still got it in peaceful mode for showing you guys my base. You won't be finding anything horrible. You can see some of the, the lights don't have been out there in mine. There's not really much out there. There's just those two blocks that are quite high up. See the torches that I've had out there and I've been mining. Um, to get the light stone for mostly for use in the Minecraft roller coaster. Um, the main reason we use this is to travel a lot. When you travel in the Nether, the Hell Dimension, you travel an awful lot. For every block you travel, you travel an awful lot more blocks in the um, in the real world, in the main world. When they brought out the update for the game, because this is my very first map, when you bring out the update for the game with like snow and forests and and cool things like that and pumpkins from in the Halloween update, um, I wanted to be able to get those still. And it um, oh. it wasn't easy um, walking to find them. So I thought we did something like this to get further across the map. So I load new chunks. Then load new chunks. Then maybe I'd um, I'd be able to find the new parts of the level. And lo and behold, I came out of my portal when I made it. And we have snow. It's got sort of a little area with workbenches and cookers and stuff, and not too much in here to be honest. There's not 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 an awful lot. Little fire, and that's the ocean there. And I've got a little little jet here which did have boats in it, but as you can see, there's a sheep there, and they keep making my boats go away. Um, nothing really in there. Just goes into sort of a little tunnel, and then there's another mine shaft, lava lit one again. Um, same as my other lava lit mine shaft, just uh, just for minerals. That one, just little tunnels at the bottom. No big staging area for working with redstone or anything like I had with the um, previous one. With movie magic. What I'm going to do is make this portal transport us to the other portal in the game. Skip out the bit in the Nether to make it look like one from port in this world to another port in this world but I didn't really do that because you can't do that obviously. Right so we're back at my main base again and that is pretty much everything at the moment. Um, I'd love to hear any ideas of anything you've got um, that I could build or 
improvements I could make in my base, apart from getting rid of the ugly cobblestone, which is something that's definitely on my list of things to do. Um, yeah, apart from that, hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much.